Courage, Alistair. Courage. A few days spent in the dungeons of the Red Keep won't be the death of me. They're bound to send me someone to speak with. Lord Varys. Hello, Lord Sarwick. Lord Varys? It is too bad these surroundings are not as pleasant as our last encounter. How has your stay been? Long. I had expected a quick trial when the men of the City Watch came to arrest me. I was mistaken. You are the first person to come and visit me. Why are you here? Usually my only visitors are rats. You see, the fact that you don't seem to care about yourself rather pleases me. Your escape will go unnoticed for quite some time. My escape? Has someone decided to help me out of here? I am here to serve you, my Lord Sarwick. What could you possibly gain from that? The balance of the Seven Kingdoms is delicate, and I predict more upheaval to come. It is clear that you have a role in what is to come. Thank you for your concern, but I refuse to leave these cells as a fugitive. I prefer to await my trial and defend my name before the Crown. You are quite the optimist. I am sorry if I've ruined your plans. I intend to meet with the Queen. I must take back Riverspring and keep that traitor Valar from getting his hands on it. To do that, my name must be cleared. Otherwise, how can I plead my case before the Queen? Cleared? You've killed Goldcloaks, my friend. Who has accused me? One of Valar's soldiers? Then it will be my word against his. I see. It may not go as smoothly as you imagine. Believe me when I tell you that it will be several more weeks before your trial. In the meantime, Savala will have wed your sister. What do you suggest, Lord Varys? I can get you an audience with the Queen. Today, if you wish it. I doubt that a fugitive would be allowed to approach her, much less speak to her. You only knew Cersei Lannister as a naive young princess, dear man. Since her marriage, she has become a strong-willed queen with a burning ambition, well-versed in intrigue. She has been filling the court with her creatures for years now. So? Thus, the virtue she prizes above all else is loyalty, which she rewards generously. That is how Savala moved up in court, and therein, paradoxically, lies your opportunity. Swear blind allegiance to the Queen, become her devoted servant, and she will give you what you desire. And you believe that Valar will just sit there and allow me to thwart his ambitions? Oh, I doubt that very much. It is quite likely that he will strike back at you eventually. But in front of the Queen, he won't dare to use force. Of course, he will try to remind her of her commitments. But she has never been capable of the same loyalty that she demands of her men. Impress her. Make yourself more desirable than your rival. And you will win. You're right. It could very well work. You give good advice when it's in your best interests, Lord Varys. How do you plan on getting me out of here? As you may imagine, I have no desire to be seen in the company of a fugitive when I go back up. You'll have to manage on your own. Here is the key to your cell. Once I've left, you will leave and head towards the guardroom. You will find the guard asleep at his post. I'll wager that he was served a particularly strong glass of wine. Very well. And the others? Surely the King's prisons are not guarded by just one drunk man. Don't worry. In the very depths of the Red Keep, there are paths known only to ghosts and spiders. Are you saying that the throne room can be accessed through secret passages without being seen by anyone? Indeed. When the Red Keep was built, King Magor the Cruel made certain that the fortress walls were all connected by a vast network of secret passages. These passages allowed his spies to see and hear everything that occurred in every room in the Keep. It is said that Magor had every man who worked on its construction executed in order to keep the passages secret. Apparently that was not enough. Indeed. But don't forget, Lord Sarwick. It is my duty to stay informed. I am the only one who knows all of its entrances and the full extent of its meanderings. I see. Then tell me how to access the throne room. 
Pass by the row of cells across from yours. Look for the one with the flagstone on the floor bearing the sigil of the Targaryen dragon. It is a passage towards the tunnels. Past that point, be on your guard. Don't worry about me. I carry the light of R'hllor. It will guide me in the darkness. I will await you at the end of the passage to give you access to the throne room, where you will meet the Queen. Good luck, Lord Alistair, and I will see you soon. Oh, that was quite nice. Opening up the treasure. By the flame, it's our quartermaster. So he's the one I heard yelling. May R'hllor welcome him to his light. Wine's too strong, eh? Obviously Varys truly knows how to live. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. What leather armor do I have? Red piece clothing. Uh, Sarvak armor and boots should be. Alice's boots. Very good. Sword. I want my rapier. Now it's time to kill some motherfuckers. That's kind of nice. Even in detail on the other side of the door I can't open. There, the dragon. The passage that Varys told me about must be hidden in that cell. R'hllor guide me, you who see all. Reveal to me what is hidden in the dark. Praise the Lord. Obviously, the throne room, throne room is up. I have to go down. Down deep. Ooh.
Down we go. It's quite pretty, though. Dead ends. Don't know where to go. Where are you coming? I don't think I can do that again. Nope. No, that's not good. That's gonna hurt. One might here. say that you arrived just in time. You, who are you? What are you doing in these tunnels? Lord Veris sent me. He was worried that you wouldn't find your way alone. Well, how very considerate of him. I was beginning to think that he'd sent me here to get lost. I was also to warn you that the gold cloaks seek you. But those brutes found me first. I saw that. Enough talk, child. You know the way out of here? Then show me. Of course, my lord. Follow me. Try to get some lovely loot. There's a door over here. If only I could find the mechanism. Let me see. Believe me, shitbag. Come on now. All right, so 
down we go. Stunned. So you handle those bitches. Go club bastards. Anything to loot from the old crypt? Nope, nothing to loot from the crypt. So, yes. I think they just turn around and stab the little bastard behind them, but no. Let's see. Hmm. I will say this area is quite vast. Doing his own back there. Not bad, not bad. Oh, maybe I'll give some of that good loot soon after all. Alrighty then. This is where I leave you, my lord. I'm not permitted to show myself on the occupied floors of the Red Keep. Why? Do you also have problems with the law? No, but Lord Varys doesn't want the court to know too much about his little birds. He's quite insistent on that. Go up one more floor. On your right, you'll see a passage leading to the entrance to the dungeons. Lord Varys will find you there. In that case, go, before the other guards arrive. You've been a great help. The honor was all mine, my lord. Good speed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, well, guys, now that you had your, had your pretty little minutes show up. Alistair, finally. I had begun to worry that your adventure had come to a most unfortunate end. It was a close call. The tunnels are swarming with guards. Your little bird came in quite handy. Yes. This dear treasure is very resourceful. Discreet and loyal, too. What next? Which path must I take to reach the Queen? Most importantly, have you considered what you will say to her when she asks how you escaped? I will use it to demonstrate my talents. If she is as ambitious as you have described, she will value my services that much more. Excellent. It would be very unfortunate for both of us if my name were to reach the Queen's ears. She probably hates me as much as she does her imp of a brother. The throne room is at the top of the stairs behind me. At this hour, you should find the Queen in the upper gallery. You always find a way to win on all fronts, don't you? As for me, I will make these bodies disappear. It wouldn't do to add this massacre to your charge. Good luck, my lord. And remember, the queen does not like to be taken for a fool. All right. Oh. Take the manticore and... Guaranteed critical hit, that's nice. Hmm. And skills with like swords. And we'll take there we are. time to go woo a queen. No, uh, not woo her. Alistair Sarwick, loyal servant to the Crown. I wish to have an audience with Queen Cersei. The Queen only receives petitioners when holding court. Why don't you explain how you got into the throne room instead? Guards, seize him! Just a moment, Sir Celtigar. Bring me that man. My thanks for granting me an audience, Your Grace. I am Alistair Sarwick of Riverspring, bannerman to House Lannister. Yes, that name conjures something. You're the man who was arrested for murdering the Gold Cloaks. What I don't know, on the other hand, is how you managed to barge straight into the heart of the Red Keep. Explain to me, then, how you were able to evade the palace guards. Your Grace, with all due respect, I cannot answer that. Really? You're playing a very dangerous game, Sir Alistair. I appreciate persistence, but a sensible man should always know when to submit. I will ask you one more time. How were you able to accomplish that feat? Means matter little to one such as myself. What truly counts are the ends. I could have left this keep without looking back, but I would rather offer my talents to the Crown. You may rise, sir. You have my full attention. Many thanks, Your Grace. Despite your goodwill, know that you are taking terrible risks. If I must take you into my service, I would first be certain of your absolute loyalty. How did a prisoner such as yourself come all the way up from the dungeons?
That answer is the only thing I cannot give you, Your Grace. At least for the moment. This is not what I expected of you, sir. You... disappoint me. Please forgive me, Your Grace. Enough! Guards, seize him. Just a moment, Your Grace. I beg of you. You have one more chance to satisfy me, Sir Alistair. There will be no more second chances. I'm listening. Your Grace, this escape proves but one of my talents. If you allow me to offer my services to you alone, I promise to show you that I am capable of even greater feats. Why do you wish to assist me? What is it you want? I learned that my sister, Eliana, was promised to Valar. An unfortunate choice, I'm afraid. How so? Because he is bastard born, Your Grace. Not only would it be a poor alliance, but our father's blood runs in his veins. I cannot accept such an improper marriage. Let me remind you that Sir Valar was knighted by my own father, Lord Tywin Lannister. That alone should convince you of his merit as future Lord of Riverspring. And if I'm not mistaken, your brother Garwin is accused of killing your father, is he not? When your sister came to see me, I saw no other choice. Sir Valar grew up at Riverspring in the heart of the castle itself. He was the one capable of ensuring the protection of these lands, as well as that of your sisters. With your permission, my lady, I have returned, and as the firstborn son of my house, it is up to me to decide what happens to my family. No doubt my long absence has left me but a distant memory to many here, but I am still my father's lawful heir. Why do you not submit your grievance to the king when he is holding court? I'm certain that your request will be granted. Riverspring is under the rule of House Lannister. In any decision regarding its future, the king will defer to you or to your father. I decided to come straight to you in order to avoid wasting time. Very astute, my lord. But you will understand that, however generous she may be, a queen may not act strictly out of charity. There are important tasks which must be carried out with the utmost discretion and efficiency. Would you be ready to undertake such a task for your queen? My loyalty to my queen has never wavered. Tell me what you wish of me and I will not disappoint. Very well, Sir Alistair. Your request has been heard. Serve me well, and I will make certain that Riverspring is returned to you. Disappoint me, and we will allow the King's justice to follow its course in your regard. That will not happen. I am delighted to hear that. We have it from reliable sources that enemies of the Crown are running unchecked in King's Landing, and I want their heads. And since it appears that you and Sir Valar have the same objective, it is my wish that you carry out this mission together. And why not use this opportunity to find out who is more dedicated, you or your half-brother? I would do anything to serve your grace, but please accept my humble request. Is your survival not enough for you, sir? I hardly dare make this request, your grace, but honor compels me. Your grace, I wish to avenge my father's death single-handedly. No one is more capable than I of finding and punishing my brother, Garwin Sawick. I see. It is an enormous boon that you ask of me. Very well. To prove my faith in your abilities, I will lift the reward on your brother's head. The Watch will leave him in peace. For the moment. I praise your grace's generosity. For now, go and await me in the antechamber. There are matters I must discuss in private with Sir Valar. We will speak again shortly. How you do it? Haha, <laughs> Valar. Alistair, what are you doing here? You were supposed to rot in the dungeons. That is indeed what I feared, but the light of Relor guided my steps out. Sir Valar, the Queen awaits your presence. We shall meet again, Alistair. Valar, hmm. 
sooner than you think.